was an emotional day in court today as the young victim of an assault in MLK Park last week in an appearance to testify against a teen charged with beating him. And this comes as another teenager was arrested in connection with that assault. Now this all happened last Tuesday when 15 year old Xavier Sears was sent to the hospital in critical condition after police say a group of people attacked him in MLK Park after school. A 16 and 17 year old were arrested charged with gang assault. Then just this morning, another 17 year old turning themselves in and it came at the same time as the first suspect's felony hearing. That's where Xavier, now out of the hospital, spoke out about the assault. 7 News senior reporter Maki Becker was there and spoke with the victim and his family. This is not, this is not, this is not okay for my 15 year old son to be living like this. Xavier Sears, the 15 year old victim of a vicious gang assault, stood next to his parents Monday outside family court. He took the stand just minutes earlier to testify against one of the three teens now charged with beating him. He still have a long term effects on him, seizures, the blood clots in his brain. Any, any moment right now, Xavier can get stressed out or get overwhelmed and literally could have a seizure or a blood clot and erupt at any time. Doctors released Xavier from Oshai Children's Hospital Sunday, six days after the 10th grader was attacked at Martin Luther King Jr. Park after leaving East Community High School. Three teens are now in custody. Xavier took the stand and faced one of those teens in court, recounting how he was punched by one of the teens and knocked to the ground. Attorneys show video of a group of teens repeatedly stomping on Xavier's head and upper body. He can't watch TV the way he wants to anymore. He can't be on his phone for long distance times. Because the flashlight. Video lights. games, bright lights can bother his eyes, can cause headaches, which can trigger the seizures. Um, Memory problems, everything. There's yeah. a lot going on with him. And Cameras were not allowed in court for this hearing, but afterwards, Xavier's parents, Amy and Sean Neal, told me about Xavier's injuries. He has three blood clots in his brain and has been suffering from seizures since the beating. He also needs to wear a sling because of a broken collarbone. So he's definitely not going to school for at least three months until I know what's going on, and then he's going to be getting home sooner after the blood clots resolve in his head. Sean Neal says enough is enough. You, you've seen the video. We've all seen the video. You know, these kids are guilty. They gotta be they gotta be punished for it. You know what I'm saying? Amy Neal is demanding the courts take this case seriously. I'm making a petition going around town. I'm about to um, get it printed up now for everybody signing for these kids to be tried as an adult and not take nothing plea deal at all. I'm not going for no plea deal. And if the district attorney or anybody or the judge try, I promise you, Ruby Marsh and all the downtown, the whole city will I have everybody behind me. Everybody's gonna be behind me on this because this is crazy how you attacked this my son for no reason. So everybody, justice is gonna be served. Well, not, it's justice is gonna be served. Family court judge Brenda Friedman ordered the defendant to be held without bail. Maki Becker, 7 News, Buffalo.